Here is the 1955 through 58, I'm not quite sure what, Westinghouse air conditioner. And as you can see, we have removed the grill, I mean the uh, casing for it. There's some old insulation down there with uh, <laughs> mud daubers nests all over the place. But, um, and there's the cowl that fits right in there for the fan blade, which is right there. But um, as you can see, we've got a lot of cleanup to do. <sighs> Look at that monster. That has got to be one of the biggest compressors, I think, I have ever seen. And it is as heavy as it looks. It is gargantuan. But, as you can see, we've got a bunch of cleanup to do. There's that pulley that I was speaking about. And there is not a slinger wheel in this unit. It is some sort of, it may be a slinger wheel. Whatever that is, is frozen. Right now, I haven't been able to, I haven't been able to rotate it, but maybe that is a slinger wheel, anyway. Um, so, these are some pretty big coils, as you can see. Lots of, lots of mud dauber nests, etc. Uh, the controls here on the unit. Off, fa uh, fan, cool. This is low speed, high speed, and this right here this is not labeled but it's got to be the thermostatic the thermostat control oh that broke off there that's too bad okay anyway got a schematic down here it gives the diagrams there's the tag there again one uh, one motor on the back and two fan blades no squirrel cage rotor old insulation for coils there so as you can see we're gonna have some fun cleaning this up and uh, putting it back together here's the the control the uh, shaft there the control rod going in there it's chain operated it looks like and uh, open and shuts open and shuts this for cool air for uh, recirculating air and fresh air, uh, fresh air. Anyway, so when we go ahead and test this, I'll shoot a quick little video and see what the compressor sounds like if it powers on at all. Let's see, so here's fan. It's working like I expect. Um, that's actually high. That's low. Okay. So turn on high. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Listen to that. It's working. Wow. Actually working. This air conditioner is nearly 70 years old. Oh my gosh, it's cold. Wow, that's really cold. coils are actually actually wet that's unbelievable it works okay I'm gonna shut it off I'm gonna shut the compressor off <sighs> I have to clean out uh, I have to clean out the coils they're completely they're completely dirty that's that's hot, that's warm. That's pretty hot. There's 
all this dirt and debris down in here. So, I think I'll go ahead and shut her off. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. That's amazing. It works. That's amazing. That is called American engineering. Right there. Will not die after nearly 70 years. Wow. Well, that's what I would call a successful pick. That is pretty darn cool. I hope you all have enjoyed as much as I have here. Oh, a friend of mine pointed this out. See these, uh, see these things here. I could not figure out what these openings on the side of the casing were for. Here. I was thinking what, to clean the coils or something? No, he suggested, and then he suggested something and it's absolutely true. Look at this ridge right here. Then look at the flange along here. There would have been filters that slid right in here on both sides. See, there's another one right there. Filters that slid in to filter the air on both sides to clean the air. Isn't that cool? Well, thanks a lot, everybody, for watching, and uh, tune in next time. I'm going to have uh, a lot of fun getting this all cleaned up.